What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com The letter C, the letter M, the letter P Kits.com That's where you get the samples, that's where you get the MIDI files That is where you get the one shots cmpkids.com also do not forget to check out the spicy sundays podcast every sunday on the mg the future youtube channel and live on spotify throughout the week all of the back episodes hear us expose cap for the past year and a half and enjoy your life now today we're going to be looking at the mpc2 software 2.8 we're not going to be looking at fl studio we're not going to be looking at live it's going to be mpc 2.0 so our 2.8 so as i bring it up what we're going to be talking about is using le loops to make sir slappensteins okay that is what we're doing um now the problem that uh that i was having on my own personal mpc journey was that i wanted to use standalone uh sounds better so on and so forth i have um, I've broken the chains of standalone. I have embraced the power that the MPC 2.8 software allows when you just hook it up to the computer. You know, um, it took me a while. I'm a boomer. I wanted to go standalone. There's no point in that shit. Okay. So, um, the, one of the advantages of plugging your MPC into the computer is that you're able to use elastic pro time stretch. What is elastic pro time stretch and how do I get me some of that elastic pro time stretch CMB? Uh, all you got to do is you got to go to, um, select MPC preferences. Uh, you want to go down to, where is it? Where is it right here? General, right? And you want to make sure that Elastic Pro is set. So when you're using standalone, all you have all you have access to is Basic and Pro 10. And Basic Basic sounds absolutely awful, and Pro 10 just sounds awful. Okay, <laughs> they're both they're both super bad. Like if if you go like if you go past one or two BPM, it is just oh, it's so terrible. So what uh what going into the software allows you to do allows you to use the elastic uh efficient mobile and elastic pro and if you know uh if you know this brand name you know this is the uh you know this is the bulletproof fucking ableton live uh logic studio one uh pro tools industry standard time stretch right so once once you have you know once you have this warping algorithm uh, you can do anything. So what I have loaded up is I have is I have my session, which is at 141 BPM. I've got a ski mask sample here that's at 170, uh, 147 BPM. And I've got a percussion loop that's at 105 BPM or I'm sorry, 145 BPM. And I haven't I haven't done anything to them. So when I play them, this is what you get. Yeah, see, that's not lit. I can't dab to that. All right. So we want to turn this into something. We want to turn this into something that is a uh, way better. And the way that you access this within the software, it's, it's, it's fairly simple to do. So the, this is the, this is what you call the main screen, right? You get here, uh, by, you know, by clicking this, the, you know, this is your main home screen. This is main mode. Now main mode has a couple different pages that you might not be privy to if you don't look up here. So you have grid view, you have waveform view and you have list view like list editor is like a tracker wave shows you whatever, whatever pad you have selected, right? Or, you know, if you want to, if you want to think about it in terms of the grid, whatever, whatever track you've selected, right? So a track is a pad, um, whichever one of, whichever one of these you have selected and you go into wave, it will show you the wave for what's on that pad. And, and you see here, you've got, you know, it's telling you what it is. It's telling you what, you know, what layer and what sample is assigned there. Now, if you look at, if you look at this bottom, 
piece it gives you some options and this is where you see stretch 100 percent. you see you know you see this this is how you enable the elastic pro time stretch right so um i have this is like this is this is one of my loops right and my loops are better than splice loops because i actually i actually take the time to zoom in and and make sure that uh and make sure that I don't have any have any clipping and that it's starting exactly there, that the loop is starting exactly uh, when the audio kicks in, because when sample designers don't do that, it's hard for you guys to get them on beat, which is trash. So um, when you when you select this, uh, when you select this warp function, you'll see you'll see like, oh, OK, you see like how this how the transient shifted and everything that's telling you, like, look, now I'm on beat. All right. So what you want to make sure is you want to make sure that you input right here in order for this to work. You want to, in order for warp to work, you want to make sure that you input the correct tempo of your loop. Now I, I tempo label, I tempo label all of my loops, right? So it's really easy. I know the tempo of this. I set it to, I, I set it to 147, right? Um, I go to, I'll, I'll go back out into grid view. Now we'll select this next loop here, go back into wave view and I'm going to I'm going to do this guy, right? So this is this is 145. Boom. Now when we play it. There you go. Perfect. And now I can dab to this. So um what this what this also allows you to do is you can is you can now go into like your um you can go into your, uh, your your program edits and change um, and change the and change the pitch and change the pitch of of your loop while it's playing. I, I mean, or I mean, even this you could change you could change the tempo of your whole song. And you don't have to worry. I mean, this is what you guys want to do, right? Right. So say I was getting, you know, say I was getting a better dab up there, but, you know, I was, say I had a, a an 808 that I really like the way that it sounded in C. Right. So I know that this is that this is D sharp and I want to. um And I want to change the um <clears throat> the pitch of this. Right. So what we want to do is we want to go to program edit and this will, you know, this will open up this guy right here. And we see that. And we see that we have our sample right here. So I could go to my semitone and that's D that's C sharp. That's C oops. All right. Count them backwards. Now let's listen. And if, if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to go the other way, And just to give you guys like an actual an actual audio example of why you don't of why it's worth the sacrifice to 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 just like get over that Ooh, I only want to work standalone like this is the, the this is this is your time stretch and standalone this is what it sounds like like you hear you hear the aliasing you hear the artifacts it's like really bad <laughs> listen. You know, you'd have you'd have to be like, nah, dude, that's that's the uh, that that's the MPC sound. You know, that's the MPC sound of standalone. You know, whereas you you run the Elastic Pro. Yeah, so huge <laughs> huge difference man so this is cmp with craftmaster productions and this has been working with loops in the mpc you guys keep it simple but don't be basic and we'll see you on the next one fam